Ta-da! A worm bin. Is this how an unboxing is supposed to go? Well, unboxings are kind of boring. Let's talk about the worm bin. Now, I've had a few worm bins in the past. Some of them have been failures, especially the DIY ones where, you know, I put nails and put them together and they just fell apart in a couple of months. I did buy a small one that could go under a kitchen counter that worked really good. And I've been wanting to get a bigger one. And this is basically an Amazon choice worm bin. I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you're interested in this worm bin, I'll give you an associate link in the comments below. I try to leave the links out of the description because YouTube and Amazon, they don't like each other. And I may actually get a commission if you buy anything on Amazon, including this worm bin, through an associate link. So like I said, leave a comment below. Now I am impressed with this. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. And the plastic isn't that bad. It should last quite a while outside. And they give you a whole bunch of cool stuff. Coconut core to start a bedding, although I already have bedding. This actually has worms in it. So I'm gonna start this one off with actual worm dirt instead of this. So I'm just gonna save this if I ever need it in the future. It also comes with tools, which is kind of cool. A cup so you can drain the liquid out of it. User's manual, some stuff about, you know, making sure you're happy. I'm not sure what these are for. I think these are to go on the upper layers. Let me know in the comments below if you know what this stuff is for right here. These are not in the instructions manual. And it gives you a magnet of what you can feed worms. The holes, big enough for European night crawlers, which I like to use to fish for bluegill with. These kits are really designed for red wigglers, which they're really, really tiny. They're really too small for hooks. But European night crawlers, they should fit through these holes just fine when they're eating from the bottom up. That's the way this works. So you have the bedding and the worms in the bottom. They even give you this coconut core pad to keep the worms from going into the water area. This is where the bedding would go. And then when you're feeding the worms, you're putting your kitchen scraps in the upper part. So they come from down here and they eat their way up. And as time goes on, you're putting layer over layer over layer. And eventually you'll be able to harvest the bottom layer for your garden or whatever. Really good dirt to grow stuff in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this together or at least put some dirt in it. Now, yes, it is cheaper to use something like this. I threw this together and it's been outside and it might not have worms actually because it's been freezing outside. The only thing is harvesting the dirt out of this is gross. It is hard. When it's in this, you know, they finish it off and they end up in the next layer. And after three, four, six months, you just take the dirt out and drop the next layer down. That easy. With this, it's a big mess. It is a big gross mess. All the good dirt's on the bottom and all the, you know, the yummy stuff is on the top. In fact, I've got leftovers from microgreens in here from a microgreens project that I was doing. They haven't gotten into it yet. So I gotta find something to dig into this thing because it is gross. Now to show you some of the grossness going on here, I got a bunch of eggshells, leftovers from food, the microgreens leftovers, and a bunch of soppy wet mud on the bottom. I don't think there's a single worm alive in here now. This is the problem of having just a bucket to throw them in, it just gets too wet. The bin that I bought has that drain in the bottom so it shouldn't get this soggy muggy messy wet this is really gross i'm still going to pull this dirt out of here i might mix it with the microgreens as the bottom layer and then i'm going to have to go buy some worms all right here is the first layer i dug some of the soppy really moist dirt from the bottom mixed it with some of the microgreens some of the eggshells got in there too and now i'm going to put some worms in it that i found i can't believe it 
but some of the big reds survived being frozen solid. They're really, really lethargic, but they're alive. It's enough to start a colony right there, although I probably will buy more. Ooh, there's another one. So there are worms still alive in this. These big red worms are really, really resilient. I've had them live in 100 degree weather and now in freezing weather. So they're a really good, really good worm. And I think I've caught more bluegill off of these than anything else. Now I'm gonna put the second layer on here. And there's some newspaper in here. So I'm gonna put like kind of a layer of newspaper and then I'm gonna put some garbage on top of it. Eventually, this will be the bottom once they finish with the bottom. Then I put a little bit of stuff on here and then just leave it. I think I'll go ahead and put the lid on this. And just, you know, give it a couple weeks to dry out and then I put more worms in it. I'll probably keep putting material from my old one into the new one over the next few months before I start putting kitchen scraps in it. Just so I can get through all of this right here. And I'm gonna keep it here in the garage so it doesn't freeze. So maybe I get a good amount of worms in this to fish with in the spring or even earlier. Now I want to know, do you guys think it was worth it for me to get this kit? I know there's a lot of people that like to do it yourself and make your own worm bins, but it's nice to have something that's already ready for worms. And if this one's like the previous one I had, the little bitty one, it should work really, really good. And you guys will definitely get to see the progress of this worm bin in the future because I will do future videos on it probably six months or a year down the line because it does take a long time to get a good colony going anyway I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video I really really appreciate it hopefully I get over this sickness soon so I can start chasing big cats again or musky or perch or everything else that's out there thanks again for watching I hope to see you guys next time